So it's been almost eight months since seven-year-old J.J. Val Vallow, rather, and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan went missing near uh, Idaho, or rather in Idaho. Now, people across the uh, country and several communities are searching to find these two children, and that is the subject of the latest 48 Hours. There's something about these two sweet faces that has stirred thousands of citizen cyber sleuths into action. Deanne Carter is a member of the Facebook group Christmas Misery, named for the time of year the children were announced missing. It's these two children. People connect. You want to help. You want to do what you can. Deanne's group created hashtags JJ Vallo and Tylee Ryan looking for pictures and eyewitnesses who may have been in Yellowstone the day that this photo of Tylee was taken. She has not been seen since, leading to a number of theories online. People online are speculating that Tylee could have been pushed into one of the hot pots. Yellowstone expert Aaron Teasdale. These pools are not only boiling, but have the acidity of battery acid. Teasdale is skeptical of this theory, but says there are a number of ways for a body to disappear. If there is a dead thing in Yellowstone, the living community will find it. It's entirely possible that there will be very little to find. But Lori's sister Summer and mother Janice say these theories are nonsense. She's not a monster. Lori would never harm her children, ever. JJ! Say hi. Summer and Janice say there's a whole other side to this story, and the children are safe. Janice, do you think they're in a bunker somewhere? I think that's possible. All right, so Jonathan Vigliotti is joining us. Jonathan, uh, this is your 48 Hours um, Mystery. Boy, this is a case that, you know, the coronavirus has really sort of taken attention away from a lot of other uh, news. And this was a case that people were really sort of transfixed by early on because yeah. it, it was so confusing and there were so many layers. There's a whole other sort of aspect that we didn't get into about ex-husbands and other murders and just yeah. very, very weird, weird stuff. Um, and so I, I got to wonder, why is Lori Vallow's family choosing to speak out now? Because certainly beforehand, there had been a lot of speculation about her. Yeah, well, and as you mentioned, Anne-Marie, this has been a very long journey, this investigation, which I know you've been watching closely from the very beginning. This was the family's first network interview, and they decided to speak because they say they want to set the record straight. What I witnessed was a family really struggling to come to terms with everything that is unfolding, as you can imagine, much of the world that's watching this also struggling to come to terms with this. Uh, Lori Vallow's mother, Janice, you heard her briefly in our piece, and you'll hear from her a lot more in our 48 Hours segment. She says that Lori Vallow is a loving mother, somebody that has been demonized in the media, but not the woman that they know. She tells me that Lori feared for her children's safety, and that's why she's not saying where they are, what that fear could be, they were not able to truly articulate that, but they did say they believe the children are alive. Well, you heard Janice say possibly in a bunker. That's one of the many theories that we look into for this report. Hmm. Just fascinating. Uh, and I guess I got to wonder, uh, Jonathan, what's next in the investigation? Yeah, well, right now I'll focus obviously still on these two missing children. JJ and Tylee have not been seen since September. The Rexburg Idaho police, they are leading this investigation. They're not commenting, but our sources do tell us, those close to this investigation, that the FBI is now really honing in on Yellowstone National Park. That's where Tylee Ryan was last seen on September 8th, images captured there. She's not been seen since, and we're told once the snow melts and the weather conditions improve in the park, there will be a possibility search that will be launched. Many people see this as bad news, that authorities think the children may not be alive. And then what about Lori Valla? What's the status of her case? Yeah, as the search continues for these children, Lori Vallow has remained in a jail cell in Rexburg for now about two months. She has not said a word inside that jail cell. She's only speaking to her attorneys. Uh, as, as it stands right now, she has not actually made a plea yet. We're waiting for that preliminary hearing. It has been partially delayed uh, because of the coronavirus. We do know that she faces child abandonment charges, which carry a sentence of up to 28 years. Of course, all of this could be resolved if Lori answers that very simple question, where are the kids? But again, at this point, 
She's remaining silent. Really fascinating. Uh, Jonathan, I believe this is your first 48 hours mystery, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, congratulations on uh, that. Um, it's just a really Thank interesting you. story, and you're right. Anne-Marie and I have been talking about this since the story first broke, so we're really interested to see where you take us on uh, this week's 48 hours. Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank you. You can watch Jonathan's full report, The Missing Children of Lori Vallow Daybell, tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern on CBS and on demand on CBS All Access.